day to celebrate the wedding of Branson and Kate. This is a celebration and the first reading will be from Catullus 61. Hither come on snow white folks wearing yellow sandals, excited by the merry day with ringing tenor voice join in the wedding chorus. Beat the ground with dancing feet and in your hand shake the torch of pine wood. Virginia as beautiful as a dallium's mistress. Venus coming to the free green judge is wedding manlius. Good maiden with good omen. Good maiden with good honor like an Asian myrtle bush, shining bright with flowering twigs, which have a dryad goddesses nourished with the drops of dew as their own plaything. Come here then, making your approach. Here and quit the Ionian rock grottoes to the Thespian rock, which the cool nymph Aganibe waters from above. To her home, invite the mistress, hungry for her new husband, wrapping her mind round with love, as clinging ivy entwines the tree. Hymen I, Hymen, Hymen, Hymen. So, this is a celebration, as I said, uh, of the marriage of Bresla, Beckman, and Kate. Lala Whitworth. <laughs> I'm sure we all wish them well for their new life across the sea. And with this marriage, I like to think of it as a contract between both of them, but also with all of us present here today. We are witnesses to what is happening, and we wish to lend them our support and our encouragement for their new life together. The next reading, the final reading as well, you'll be glad to know. Is Corinthians 13. First Corinthians 13. Yeah, first Corinthians 13. Thank you, my theological friend. If I could speak all the languages of earth and of angels, but didn't love others, I would only be a noisy gong or a clanging cymbal. If I had the gift of prophecy, and if I understood all of God's secret plans and possessed all knowledge, and if I had such faith that I could move mountains, but didn't love others, I would be nothing. If I gave
If there be anyone present who knows of any just or impediment or reason why these two may not be married in holy matrimony, please keep it to yourself. It's far too fucking cold to go for this all over again. State of Scotland who looks over the city, I now pronounce you man and wife.